All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income from stock market. What are you waiting for? Call the text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. All right, we got some controversy here, okay, guys. Um, um, Cam Newton is now facing racism in New England and New England radio from a New England radio host, obviously in New England. Says expatriate quarterback says Cam Newton distracted by that like, harsh damn rap rap music. Says Cam Newton is distracted by. So let's talk about it. Hit the thumbs up button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the NFL playlist and. Obviously, anything today is going to sound a little touchy and everybody going to go overboard with racism, feminism, or homophobia. That's just the way society we living in. Like I always say, I can't believe a generation I was raised on, on raised, like, raised like me on Boondocks and Simpsons and um, South Park. I can't believe we so sensitive, but you know how it go. Former Patriot quarterback, Zach, excuse me, Sock, Scott Zolak. Says his former team should turn off the rap music at practice, explaining he believes the tunes are hurting Cam Newton's game. Seriously, Zolak, who played for New England from '92 to '98, was reporting reporting for uh, from the Pat, Pats Patriots on the past uh, practice Thursday when he made a, a wild claim, saying that he believes Cam is straight up distracted by rap songs and the blare over the team speaker during the workout. Okay, here y'all go. I turn off the rap music first of all. Because I think it's distracting for Cam here. Because in between every throw, he's dancing. I did see anyway, Ka- I did see Karen Garigi in the Herald tweeting about that as he took the field. He's doing it in between drills, you're saying. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he makes a throw, and then the music's still cranking. I know you can hear uh, faintly in the background here. I think it's distracting for you. No, it's when I play Bon Jovi. That's yeah. the only thing. Okay. Um, but he can't help himself to where Mac looks like he came to work again. Like, he's here to work. And everybody's attention to detail. You can't put that. But, a, but again, is that stop? What, what is I was going to say? Is that atypical? That, none of this sounds this atypical. Nothing different. Yeah. Nothing different. Okay. Nothing different. Well, that's what he does, then, right? I mean, so I, I, I would. It would be to me. It would be more noteworthy if he was doing something that was out of character. Like it sounds like he's doing all the same stuff, which means he might be first through the drills, which I don't. Which I don't like. I don't like it all. By the way, we got a tweet from Brady, and I think it's a good point. You said yesterday, so you would be pissed if Cam worked with the ones today. And then, yes. So so why so why the change of heart? Um, because I think they need to take a hard look at it. I think it's deci- I think it's decision making, really. Like just because what happened yesterday, I think you need one more look at Cam, just to say, you know what? I need I need I need confidence in my decision. I'm going to go back here. I need to see that Cam did take the five days off serious. That he came out, he's still jacking around. Just looks like Matt came to work today. He did. So you're kind, so still, you're kind of with me. You still think it's going to be Cam? I do. He I hasn't lost these. the job. All right. You didn't hear what he said clearly. He said, I got to get some more speakers. Get another screen. My screen going off. I turn off. He said, quote, I turn off that rap music, first of all. Zolak from 98.5. I'm back. back. And I can X back up Kate Patriot quarterback, the sports hub. Because I think it's distracting for Cam because in between every throw he's dancing so like a team he must help himself. The fifty three year old signal caller then said it's a it's a stark difference when compared to Patriots backup quarterback Mac Jones, who he said looks like he came to work again, quote, like he's here to work and everything is attention to detail, but again, so like added, that's Cam's style. Noon has been known to bust the moves during the Patriot practice cameras catch him often bouncing around the hip hop while on the field. But Cam has noted uh, Jones has similar love for music. In Spain, last month, he surprised with Mac Jones' knowledge of rap. Quote, you catch him in the locker room every time he quote in future baby Cam said. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you're in the rap quarterback camp uh, uh, battle. And whatever make you comfortable is Cam, you know, dancing and, you know, whatever he's doing. When he was at his height, he was doing that, you know. So it only becomes an issue when he had his, you know, battle, you know. But some players like that. Some players like listening to music. Some players like being focused. Some players like being stoic during the game. Some people like getting angry. I mean, it's all types of uh, different football players, you know. 
like to like to you know like to do. You got some people that just some people might just rest their eyes, lay on lay on the fucking in the locker room to get ready. You got some people that like hyping people up, yelling and screaming. Ah, you got motherfuckers like hitting helmets with each other. You got motherfuckers that like playing cars before the game. You got motherfuckers like playing Connect Four. You got a lot of people playing on their phones. Some people like to listen to music. Some people like rock. Some people like rap. Some people like tempo, hot up tempo. Some people like go go. In the locker room, you can tell a lot of these guys forgot, ain't been in the locker room and forgot what it's like in the locker room. You know, it's just, it's different strokes with different folks. I done seen, I done seen them all come and go. I done seen them all come and go. So, everybody got their preferences. So, if that's the way he, that's the way he want to, uh, if that's the way he like, he like to uh, get ready for a game and stay loose in practice, that's what he like to do, but... You know, it sounds like a racial undertone to a lot of people. You know, it might that might just be legit criticism from him, but you know, seeing what Cam Cam need to stay focused and just at the task at hand, but that's him. That's Cam. He always been like that. When he was Superman around around the field, um, ain't nobody had nothing to say about it. So he he just you know as as an older white person in New England and. Knowing the, the reputation up in that area for racism, I just think it's gonna come off of racism. But I think, honestly, I think that's his honest opinion. To me, I think honestly, he believes that. I think he believes that as Cam folk uh, be better, folk he'd be a better quarterback. But my opinion, I think, uh, I think injuries just caught up with him. I think he injured, and not everything he do wrong is gonna be magnified. But last year he played good before COVID. Before COVID, they he they look he looked legit. You know, and honestly, I think they should go with Mac Jones. But like I said before, man, you know, I think it's beneficial for quarterbacks to sit that ain't truly ready. So let Cam go. Once you go to Mac Jones, it's gonna be hard to go back to Cam. That's gonna be that's gonna hurt Mac Jones if you have to go back to Cam anything for anything other than injury. So like I said, I will put Cam out there and then see what happens because he got out to a great start last year. And Cam he ain't been looking good in accuracy, but he's not a thrower in football. Cam Newton is one of those. Tim Tebow like passion quarterbacks that he one of them passion quarterbacks. Quarterback they play the field. He got more time than Tebow, better throwing motion, but uh But I just think that's just what it is. But um other than that, we're gonna have to see. But uh like I said, they're gonna start Cam, like they say on the radio. They gonna start Cam and uh They gonna start Cam. And I don't, I don't blame him. Because once you go to once you go to Mac Jones, you can't go back to Cam. But if you do, if you do go from Mac Jones to Cam, then people gonna start. You got draft another quarterback, peer pressure, and all that shit. So it's gonna be it's gonna be hard going back to Cam. It's gonna be hard, man. So I mean, going back to you know Cam. So definitely, I think they should start Cam. But I do think Mac Jones won the job. But they got to start Cam. You know. For certain purposes, like I just named, but hey, that is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Check out the NFL, uh, check out the NFL um, playlist for more videos like this. We got the season coming up. Get my small and awesome fantasy advice. Don't forget you can make a financial donation. Cash app CJ Good 313, Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook group. All that's in the description. Uh, if you have an advertisement channel, video request, chop it up. Best to donate, thumbs up, share, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.